I just wanted to say before this video begins, please be sure to watch to the end for a super special surprise that you guys definitely do not want to miss. All right, enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Biggest AG Fan Ever here back again, and today I'm here for a super exciting video. As you can see, I have a huge box in front of me, and if you guys know, I recently attended the American Girl Benefit Sale. If you guys haven't seen that video, I will link it in the upper right hand corner in the iCard for you guys to watch right now. But today, I have received my package from the benefit sale. This box is so big that I can like honestly barely fit it in the frame. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this up. I just want to say that everything in here was packaged so nicely. They really made sure to package everything to make sure that it wouldn't get damaged in transit. So here is everything that I got from the benefit sale. I have it kind of laid out here. So we are going to start off with the smallest items and then work our way up to the grand finale. So let's go ahead and start opening them. So starting off with the smallest item, I got Molly Chances and Changes, and this is the book where you choose your own ending. I really love these books from American Girl. I think that they're really interesting. And so far I have read Samantha's and Addie's, and I'm looking forward to reading Molly's as well. The next item that I got was the Truly Me Sunny Day Dress, and this one actually comes still sealed with the little piece, and usually they will put an X over the barcode, so that way you know that they got it from the benefit sale, but this one doesn't have it, which is really interesting. I originally saw this dress at the Denver American Girl Place when I went a couple of years ago, and I fell in love with it but I wasn't able to pick it up while I was there, so I'm glad that I finally got it. Sorry, I had to just go get some scissors to cut this open, but let's go ahead and open it up and take a look at it. Starting off, it comes with this cute little headband with these two little pom-poms on it. It comes with these pair of sandals that match the colors of the headband. And the sandals don't have Velcro, they just have elastics at the back. Finally, there is this gorgeous sundress, and I love this dress so much. I think just the embroidery detail on it is gorgeous, and it's just so well made. But I love this dress so much, and I'm really happy that I ended up picking it up. Up next is Z's Media Kit, and this was only $15, which is so crazy. Especially being an AG tuber, this is a really cute set and I'm really excited to have it. Surprisingly, this also came sealed, so I'm going to have to get scissors to go ahead and open that up. So I went ahead and took everything out of the plastic bags and this set comes with a lot of items to put together. So I'm just going to go ahead and put them together right now and then I will show you guys once when it is all set up. So here it is all set up. This was super easy to set up and it is really easy to take apart as well. It comes with the backdrop which has this pretty scenery and then the other side is a green screen. It comes with that light which actually works but I didn't put batteries in it yet. And then it comes with this bag to put the poles in once when you are not using it which is really nice. I think that is a great plus for this set because it's easy to store it. It comes with this little studio lighting guide that teaches you how to use studio lights and which way to set them up so you don't have shadows. It comes with this little megaphone, which mine actually came a little bit messed up as you can see, but that is totally fine with me. It comes with this little clapboard and I think that this is also super cute and would make a great accessory in a room or in a stop motion. And then finally, it comes with this little trophy that is from the Z Awards, and it just looks like this. I just wanted to show you how all of the poles fit nicely inside of the bag that it came with. The next item that I'm going to be opening up is Mary Ellen's sofa bed, and I am really excited to open this because I think it is super cute, and I'm excited to have a sofa for my dollhouse. 
I really like how this one already comes pre-assembled, so it's going to be super easy to take out and set up for you guys. So here is the bed out of the box and all set up. I think it looks really cute and it seems so far to be good quality. The blanket for the bed is so soft, like you would not even believe it. Same as this pillow, which actually reminds me of McKenna's dog bed from her loft bed. So now I'm just going to go ahead and pull out the sofa bed and set it up for nighttime. So here is the sofa bed all set up to go to sleep. I think that it is super cute and I'm happy that they actually made it a sofa bed because then it has two uses instead of just having the one use of being a sofa. So now we are finally on to opening the first doll that I bought. This is Truly Me number 33. Her box is a little bit damaged as you can see but it isn't too bad. For some reason it also has like tape or something here which is interesting but whatever the box doesn't matter all that matters is that the doll is in good condition which from the looks of it in here she looks to be so here she is all out of the box she is in really good condition the only thing is is her hair seems to be like it needs to be recurled but that is probably because she has been in the box for such a long time she has the old eyes, which are great, and then she has the old body fabric that is not super thin, which is also great. Her body tag says 2014, and I know the body tag date does not always line up with the actual date of the doll, but that seems to be so far a good indicator of how old she is. So let me just go ahead and give you an overview of her entire body so you can see her entirely. Oh, another thing I'd like to point out is that she does not have perma panties, which is really, really great. I was kind of worried about that being the case, but she doesn't. And like all benefit sale dolls, she comes with an X on her butt. So now I am sure you guys are all dying to know what I have chosen to be her name. So I have chosen her name to be Peyton. Now you're all probably wondering why I chose the name Peyton but I chose this name because that is the name of my best friend, and if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't probably be into American Girl Dolls today. So I don't want to share her entire story and the backstory of this doll entirely. I would love to have her come on to my channel and she can meet her lookalike doll and talk a little bit about her and tell her story for her. So I will probably save that for another video, but for now, we are just going to go ahead and move on. So the last item that we have to open is the mystery bag. And I am so excited to open this. This was only $50 and it includes a doll and other accessories. And from the weight of it, I think that it's a lot of accessories because this thing is way heavier than a doll. So I covered up the number down there because I am pretty sure that every single doll in the mystery bag is the same and I just want to give a spoiler warning in case you guys got one of your own and you want to be surprised and see which doll it is for yourself. So that is your warning if you don't want to be spoiled as to which doll this is. So I just went ahead and pulled the plastic bag out that was holding her and this thing seems to be jam-packed. So let's go ahead and open it up. Oh my gosh, that is so much stuff in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull everything out of here and then we're going to take a closer look at all the items in here. So besides the doll, here is an overview of everything that came in the mystery bag. And oh my gosh, this is literally so much. The $50 that I spent on this mystery bag was actually the same price as the Truly Me dolls. So this was an incredibly good deal. But let's go ahead and take a closer look at all the items real quick. So first up, it came with three books. It came with Isabel's first book. It came with Spa Amazing. And then it came with Melody's first book which I actually, funny enough, just finished reading probably only two days ago, and it is so good. I definitely recommend this. 
Up next, it came with these two mini dolls. It came with a mini Leah Clark doll and a mini Tenny doll. The next item that came with this set is the raspberry glasses for dolls. And I think that these are really cute and I actually don't have these, so I'm really excited to have them. And having another glasses case is always a plus as well. Up next, it came with these silver shoes and I'm just going to go ahead and take them out of the packaging real Personally, I've never seen these shoes ever at American Girl. I'm sure that they go to some outfit and they just had extras of them. They look very similar to Gabriella's shoes, but just in a silver color, so I'm not sure. Or if any of you guys know what outfit these shoes go to, I would love to know down in the comments below. Up next, we have this outfit and I'm just going to go ahead and unbox it really quickly. So here is the outfit out of the bag, and once again, I feel like I've never seen this outfit before. I don't know if it is from a mix and match collection, but I definitely don't recognize it from anywhere. But it comes with this skirt, which reminds me of like a mermaid print, and it has like these scales on it, and then the top is this pretty yellow color, and it has these sequins dangling and the back has Velcro. The next item that it came with is this outfit, and I remember seeing this at the benefit sale last year, but I don't remember American Girl ever selling this outfit as well either. So here is the outfit out of the bag, and this outfit is definitely very loud and vibrant. But as you can see, this outfit comes with some bright neon colors and like a lace thing on top of this pattern on the skirt and then it just has elastic around the waistband and then the top just says hello and it's embroidered in and the back has velcro and then it has a little cute tie off on it as well finally the last outfit that came in this set is this one so let's go ahead and open this one up too so here is this outfit and it comes with this cute little purple top that has like a shiny silver detailing in it and it's like a crocheted or knit sweater top with velcro along the back. The skirt is like this cotton material and is blue with some pink detailing with no velcro on the back but elastic around the waist. I remember seeing this outfit at the benefit sale last year and also on the website this year and I was actually going to pick up this outfit but I forgot. So I am really happy that it was included in this set. And finally, the moment that you guys have all been waiting for, here is the doll that came in the mystery bag. This is Truly Me number 47, and she actually still comes with her hairnet on, which is so cool. She even has the little wrist thing that says how to care for your doll with straight hair. So let's go ahead and take her out of the box and take a closer look at her. So here she is out of the box. She is in absolute perfect condition and I cannot believe how cute she looks. She does not have perma panties, which is really nice, but just like the Peyton doll, she does come with an X on her butt. She came in the lilac dress meat outfit, which is probably one of the most hated truly neat meat outfits that American Girl ever came out with. But I actually don't have it, so I don't mind that she came in it. So now you guys are probably wondering what I am going to be naming her. And my answer to that is I actually don't have a name for her. The reason why I don't have a name for her is because I actually bought her to give away to you guys. And since I know that so many people hate the lilac dress, I am giving her away in this meat outfit since I have so many of them anyway. But since this video is already super long, I am going to save the giveaway and all of its details for another video and we are just going to wrap up this video here. So if you guys are interested in entering the giveaway, be sure to subscribe and stay tuned because the video with all of the rules will be coming out this Friday. So that is it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon so that you'll be notified every single time that I upload. 
including the giveaway video, which like I said, will be uploaded this Friday. Also, be sure to comment down below which item is your favorite that I got today from the benefit sale. And finally, don't forget to follow my Instagram. It is underscore biggest AG fan ever underscore to see behind the scenes of my videos. And I will see you guys on Friday when I post the giveaway video. Bye-bye.